Hey folks, it's B Mays from RC Groups. Uh, today I'm going to be installing the Mullet Acro board from ArmitanQuads.com into my uh, CF355 from Armitan Quads. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, solder in these uh, connectors. I'm going to be using the right angle connectors. And um, ironically, my trusty Weller iron um, quit working today. So I'm going to be using a very inexpensive soldering iron from Harbor Freight. And that's okay. I'm going to be using quality solder. And, you know, you don't have to go out and buy an expensive soldering iron. Um, your money is much better off being spent on quality solder. And I'm going to show you how to make good, solid connections uh, that you should never have to worry about coming loose. Um, a lot of people want to ball up the solder on the um, uh, connections, and really that's not needed. You want the solder to flow uh, evenly down through the joints. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, the first thing we're going to want to do is just take our connector and just place it onto the board. Um, just turn it upside down. We're only worried about one connection right now. We just want something to hold it steady while we solder the remaining connections. I'm going to put a little bit of solder on the tip of the iron. I'm going to pick this corner one here because it's easy to get to. Just a, just a tiny drop on there, just enough to hold that. I want to make sure that we're looking good and straight. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all, really. So I think I'm going to go with that. All we have to do is continue on with the rest of the connections. I want to make sure that when we do this, we're not overheating it, but we're also, we want to make sure that the solder is flowing through because this is a two-sided board. We want to make sure that it's flowing through to the other side. All right, now that you've got all your connections soldered up, you want to turn it over and uh, just kind of take a look and make sure that it, the solder did in fact flow all the way through the board and uh, you should see it kind of uh, just uh, running up the pins on the other side there. Next, I'm going to take um, alcohol and I'm going to clean the uh, rosin, clean the board, clean it up a little bit. All right, when you get done, should have nice shiny connections uh, shouldn't really have any balls of solder on there um, it should just be uh, you should just see it kind of flow okay the next one that we're gonna do we're gonna do the uh, connector for the power and the uh, let's see power buzzer and telemetry now I'm only gonna be using the uh, the power and the buzzer uh, but it uh, comes in a little three pin connector, so we're just going to go ahead and put them all in there. And again, kind of the same thing. We just want to get one pin fastened down so we can check the alignment. It looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and solder the rest of them. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna take a little bit of alcohol, clean up those connectors, the solder, clean that flux and the rosin off of the board there. And make sure that we've got good, nice, shiny connections. All right, now I'm not actually using um, the receiver uh, pins on mine. I'm going to actually be soldering the wires directly onto the board because uh, I have a PPM receiver and I'm just going to be using the uh, ground voltage and then this pin one right here. 
Um, but I am going to go ahead and uh, I need to tin the connectors anyway. So I'm just going to show you how you would do this one because this one's a little trickier. This one you don't have the holes to kind of hold the uh, pins in place while you do it. So what I'm going to do first is just tin. I'm going to tin this ground pad, which is the this one here on the end. So we've got that tinned. Now I'm also going to actually put just a tiny drop of uh, solder on this pin right here, on this very last one. All right, doesn't take much. And then I'm just going to take my iron and my solder. I'm just going to put just a little bit of solder on the tip of the iron. I'm going to place these two where it needs to be. All right, should fit. Mine fits snug because I've got a decent little ball of solder going on on the uh, tin there but just want to line it up right in the middle and just basically all you should have to do at this point is just touch the iron to the pad it moved a little on me Oop. there you go so I'm just gonna tin the rest of these connections we're only using the ground this one here with the uh, white dot which would be the positive and then number one is going to be our number one channel for our receiver now again since I'm going to be using the PPM receiver I'm not actually going to be using the header connections there I'm just going to take a standard receiver cable cable which I have cut and I'm just going to be soldering the three connections directly onto the board I've gone ahead and tinned the ends of the wires in preparation for soldering them to directly to the board here. Um, just want to note that the uh, last pin here is ground. The middle one, well the one here with the white dot is the positive and then where it starts the numbers, number one, two, three, and then on the back you have four, five, six, seven, and eight. Those are all your receiver channels. Um, we're only going to be, or I'm only going to be using um, ground, power, and pin one. Okay, so we've got the three connections soldered to the board there, which is all we're going to need for our PPM receiver. And at this point, we're ready to mount our flight control board.